All right. How everybody doing? It's Brad again. Uh, this is experiment number two with my pigment brush pen, tip pen, brush tip pen, however you want to call it. I already tried it, just coloring the drawing up with a, a violin in that first video, and this second one is some old gunslinger. I hope I don't mess him up. Oh well. Remember, I drawed him with a, just a regular old ballpoint pen, a big velocity. I wonder if that's going to mess up or blend in when I try to color. And we fit to find out. And I think I'm going to start with his hat with the brown uh, brush tip pen and uh, see, see how it'll look. Maybe I won't mess him up too bad, but let's see. We'll zoom in. We'll see what we can do with it. <laughs> Maybe I won't mess him up too bad. Hope I don't. That ain't too bad. You can still see the ink through it. We'll just go on down and I ain't gonna make this perfect. I just wanted to test it. And uh that'd be dark because I shaded it in with the uh the ballpoint pen. But yeah, you can see the detail through it. I can. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, you can. And I just ain't gonna be perfect, like I said. Uh, yeah. I can actually darken that. That's good, right? All right. And you know what? Uh, don't get a. I wish it come with a pink. I mean, a, a peach. I'm scared to use this. It might make him. I don't know way out west always in the sun and everything and here we go i might mess him up but we're gonna put him <laughs> we ain't got a lot of sun so he's orange why not huh? and uh you can't really see his eyes because he's squinting like i looked at the picture and uh i guess it ain't gonna have to be perfect just get him I just want to see if you see the, the ballpoint pen through all this. Uh, I reckon since his old beard scruffily. That, that mosquito, I thought I got rid of him. He's coming back and forth. I let, let another one in, that's what it is. Uh, I'm sitting in the kitchen where I'm normally being at. And I got a side door where a door that goes straight to the carport where the old Tacoma's sitting at. I'm gonna have to do a review on that because I'm getting real close to 10,000 miles. Uh, wow, he is, got a lot of sun. <laughs> uh, you know what, I'm gonna have to color his shirt and everything. Uh, let's make it a, a a blue, how about that? I bet my brother said, old oh, Mac Daddy 1911 I subscribed to him, old oh, oh, brother. He gonna say, man, you messed it up. You messed that all up. That's all right. I draw him again, I draw another one. Good experimenting. Uh, now this gonna be, I reckon, harder to see or whatever, but we gonna go on down. Get his old, whole, all his shirt in. And I probably, uh, do the buttons like black or something like that. But I reckon that color's pretty good. So I wonder if I should be like doing one stroke at a time so it. I don't know if it makes it darker or what, but we gonna find out here when it dries. Might have zoomed back out a little bit. And uh oh no, that's the that's the belt. We can make that brown or something. I just want to check real quick. Let's see. 
Let's get the black and do his. Yeah, his buttons on his shirt. They probably were actually much like silver or something, there, but oh well. This ain't nothing but testing. Do that a little bit better. Maybe the outline. Yeah. Bring it up around his head. That don't look too bad. You know what? I think I'm gonna do the whole jacket brown. What y'all think? Get the whole jacket brown. There we are. Look at there. And you and see more pressure I put it on it, the bigger the stroke. Scratching the paper, but I reckon that texture of the pen and the paper combining and all that, so that ain't bad. That's one how long they last me doing it like this right here. Or could I use something cheaper than these right here, like regular old Corello magic markers to do the same job? But this is a good experiment. Uh, I think it actually looked pretty good when it uh, dries. Let's see. Zoom out a little bit more. I uh, don't know if, reckon if enough people watch or whatever, I might start doing more of these. Or if y'all interested in it. I know my brother might say, yeah, I'll keep on doing them, but do it need to do it to benefit everybody if everybody's interested in seeing it over and over. So let me go back up here. I was thinking I wonder if I went over it more than once or twice with darkened areas in. Right now if you hear in the background a computer whizzing it's because I'm uploading that first one of the violin. It's like, man, you're supposed to be drawing all these military pictures. But you know, it's good to just draw something easy, simple. Maybe some kid might say this want to try to draw if they got magic markers or color pencils and a, a black magic marker or whatever. He's actually got another coat up in there, I want to just keep this brown and keep it simple. And probably right through there I can use that black to make a shadow. Now imagine uh, using this much of the ink, that this, these pens wouldn't actually last too long, I, I would not think so. I say that, but my microns is actually last a pretty good while. Uh, as much as I've used them. Let's go ahead and get his belt. And I'm gonna throw a wrench in it. I'm gonna make his pants, I think, green. How about that? That'd uh, be crazy looking with it. And let's see his handle of his pistol. I think that should be brown. So gun slinging revolver. And uh, uh that right here, brown. I'm stumped for words right now. <laughs> Ain't that funny? And as uh where is uh let's see. Where is old bullets? Digging there right here. I got another type of pen. I think I can fix this right here. Make the a bullet stand out somewhat. Even though I done it like a a half butt job. Matter of fact, we get them all out. My old, my old sharpies, but they're 
refine point. I want to see if I can use this yellow right here to color the ends of it. Yeah, it comes up pretty good. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you can or not. The bullets. The ends of it. I can see it. I don't know if y'all can on the and his old belt buckle. Yeah. Hmm. Don't look too bad. Now let's get some crazy looking green pants. Incredible hot pants. Wait, incredible hot. I recently had purple. What kind of crib was that? Purple pants. Make them gray or something. But this is a big old experiment from old bread right here. I don't know, just. I wish I did. There was a bigger pack. And they had an off brand over there at Hobby Lobby in Waycross. That's where it went. Uh, they had an off brand that had like 30 colors in it. Maybe I should have got that to do small detail work like this. Or mother different colors. I know they had one that had a, a peach for skin color. Y'all gonna say, hey, they weren't no cowboys back in the day with green draws, but my cowboy gonna have green pants. I'm trying to stay on the same level so I don't smear it with my my hand or anything. Smudge it like that right here. Let's go back to his hands. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If I had a peach, tan, whatever you want to call it, I think this would be all right. But we already got a uh, video of me drawing him, so it really don't matter, do it? Uh, I think what I can do with the uh, pistol maybe is blow it a little bit. That was gonna be brown right there, and then throw some uh, black in there with it. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to his finish his coat, top coat, trench coat, bandit coat. Whatever you might want to call it, written. I might have to invest in them uh, Copic, Copic pins. I don't know how y'all like pronounce them. I hear most of the women on YouTube, them real popular girls. Cope it. Pins. And considering this wasn't really a detailed drawing I done, I think. I think what I'll do after I get the, the black on it, I mean rest of the uh, green right here. Is uh, see if I can incorporate some black for shadows. Let's see how that turns out. All right, now, all right. I about messed up and used the regular old micron. Yeah, we're. We're still gonna use the brush pen. Now, let's go back up here to the underside of his hat and see if we can make that dark. Yeah, that looks good right here. I don't 
don't really know what I need to do with the... Let's see. So that, what y'all think about that right there? I don't know what to do about his hair. Let's see. I think that'd be a shadow right here. Yep, maybe one right here, right where it... One up here where it divides. Maybe the whole, maybe the whole thing. Maybe a, a, a thinner, well, <laughs> I got work on that. And where his arm is it at? Huh. And the creases. Down where it meets the arm. Yeah, because that little I really didn't do that dark with the uh the ballpoint. Let's see now we try it right here. I'm learning. All right. And let's see, bring it right around to the top. I don't know what to do about the beard. Not this yet. And I think this kind of lays out a little bit. Yep. Think it'd be a slight shadow where his shirt goes. Maybe it's ruffled up, unpacked like in the opening. Maybe and then the tops of the pocket. A little bit on the seams of the pocket, maybe. Maybe some lines going up. On this side. I remember this was shattered at the jaw or the picture I was looking at, and that was shattered right there. I put under the belt buckle, maybe some of the belt buckle right there. And then the gun, part of the gun. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll be missing that right here. Where I painted all that yellow. Uh oh, that didn't turn out that bad. Put a shadow behind us. Revolver. Then his pants. Where his legs meet. Other side of his jacket. Hey! What the thing about that? That ain't, that ain't bad right here. Inside his jacket be absolutely dark. You won't be able to see where his hands are at. He might be part, he might be a, a Chinese or Native American uh, gunslinger. Huh? Maybe, yeah. I'm sure they was out there somewhere. Let's see if I can do a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what to do about his hair. How about 
I use a colored pencil. Praise my colored pencil. And color in his hair. Dark, dark, dark. Dark as I can get, I reckon. And his beard. So, shoot, using all kind of mediums, huh? Man, uh, you know what? I didn't show y'all that today, but it's here. <laughs> I'll use that brown right here all around his mustache, beard, and his hair, color pencil. And his old white shirt. It probably ain't white really. It's dirty. I'm gonna make a little gray with a Corolla. I, I just got all kinds of stuff. Just dingy it up a little bit. I can't draw on top of that, okay. Well how about that right there? Uh, let's see, I think that's the shadow, if I remember right. It's on this side a little bit. Oh, did you see? I just noticed something right there. If I go back and apply more of this, like a second round of, I've seen them girls do this, but they use Copic. as a shader. Maybe the top right here. Huh! What you know about that, son? That is interesting. I wonder if I can do that right, right through here. Make it darker where it I think the shadows would be. Ah! Can not see that? Just making a second or third pass. Hmm! Now if I remember right, this, like, it's... Nah, let's see here. Get out of here. There we are. If I remember right, this folded out and it did have a shadow. It was in the shadows. And this part was folded out. Like that. And let's see. Around his arms. Would be darker. So it'd be a second pass, second, third pass, or topping, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> into the black. All the way down. Uh, huh. And I think this is a big old crease. I want to check it. figure that in a minute. A couple minutes anyway. A little pocket and then the shadow where the creases of his arm. And down the side I have another shadow. And, and it was kind of bunch of wrinkles right through here so that would be in colored in or darker than the red along down the side I 
I gotta always remember to put this in focus. Let me make sure that ain't oh now I'm trying to do good but I wanna see how good I can get it. Hmm. That does make it look a little bit better, don't it? Now I wanna get all the white spots out. <laughs> At first I was gonna bull crap around with it, now I wanna get serious with it. Now maybe the band on his head is darker than there is. Yeah. If I remember right, that's what it was. So this will be the second. I wonder. If I use this up under his neck, as a shadow, the brown on the orange. Maybe his jaw right here. No, that's shattered. Maybe something like that. I'm gonna figure this mess out. I'll tell you what, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> Scoop it. Look at there. And you know what? I'm going to do his forehead too because if you can see the, the ballpoint lines. I written that as a will about as. Try the blue now. I'm getting excited. Go back for the blue. I wonder if I can darken, darken this. I'm just, uh, I don't know, but we're gonna try. And up under. Can you see that? Up under this side. Thin out right through there, but right around his neck. Where the shadow is. I need to go ahead and fi fix this down here. Now I want to do really good, all right. So yeah, right along this, I think, I can darken that in like right through here. And we're gonna check and see if this bleeds through, I hope it don't bleed through the paper. Where the creases were, well, let's go ahead and get that right here. What I've done right here. Made all that dark. 
Then I'm gonna color in all the white part. Hmm. That don't look that bad. Got to do something about that grain. French fried tater mushroom grain. If y'all ain't heard, watch that movie Sling Blade with Billy Bob Thornton on. It's absolutely hilarious. I don't really want to go, I don't know how dark I should go to not destroy the paper, that's what I'm worried about. Besides, you know, it's old Walmart paper, so. Let's see here. Well, my first one is downloaded. I use a uh, Hit Film Express to, uh, cause I shoot upside down, cause the camera's pointing straight down. So I had to flip it around in, in the uh, video editor on Hit Film Express. It's free. Uh, good editor. Well, I still use uh, YouTube uh, music. I'm starting to run out of music to use on there, so I don't know I'm gonna have to find something else I reckon to, to really use I reckon. Okay, so we got the darkness to all this in right here. Probably where it I don't want to oversaturate the uh, paper because I don't really think this is design what is actually just designed for uh, drawing, sketching, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give a little bit of texture. we go from there. Yeah, there is no telling. I, I don't think three or four drawings like this and I'll be having to buy new pens. But the guy that I talked to about all these pens, I, he said they always got seals on them, so I thought, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, I reckon. Uh, we can do something about his hands, I reckon. I forgot to get back. You know, darken them in a little bit where the shadow's at. Yeah, right around there. And the creases. There we go. Let me get this one right here. I think the shadow will be right around here. I think that'd be perfect. Mm -mm. Let's do this bit one more time. And maybe not between the bullets. From what I thought was going to be a disaster, and trying to figure out a good purpose for these pins. I think we I think I found it. Now, let me color, color this right here. There we go. You know what? <laughs> oh, this is. Alright. Let's zoom all the way out. Now, this ain't gonna be perfect. I don't want it. Don't need to be perfect first time. That's not bad right there. And you know what? Alright. This is right before the old Heather 
feather thing I drawed and let's see if it went through. It's still kind of damp. Let's see if it went through. What y'all think? You think do you, you think it bled through or whatever? Because I put a lot of it in, especially that third and fourth coat with all the shading and everything. But I like that. It turned out good. And boom, right up through there, around his head, right here. I put a little bit too much, maybe. But it didn't get on this sheet right here. It just started coming through a little bit. And there's nothing else. That's amazing. Cheap old Walmart. Right around his beard, mustache, and that part of his head, so. That's it, so. This part right here, it's still kind of wet. Ain't getting none on my hand. And that's a prize down here, because that's really saturated. Right around here is really saturated. But, nothing. It's, wow. And, real quick, I'll show you the cheap old Walmart book, I ain't lying. There it is. <laughs> you create. That's it. It's sketch from Walmart. I think it costs like four dollars. Premium drawing paper, seventy-five pound paper, acid-free, seventy-five sheets. Yeah, that right here. Let's zoom in on it a little bit. That looks good to me. <laughs> I'm super happy. I just want to have long old pen to last. That looks good. What do y'all think? I'm really super duper happy with it. it. Turned out pretty awesome. I know there's white spots here and there, but it ain't gotta be perfect. Supposed to be fun, right? Uh, I reckon I could put a little bit of shadow here and there. See, now I'm trying to be perfect. <laughs> but you know what? It was fun though. I had a ball doing this right here. If you watch the whole thing, thank you. Leave some comments, tell me what you think. You know, whatever. Uh, this is just an experiment, but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm really impressed with it. Happy with it, I reckon. Basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah. I really, really, really like this right here. This is really something else. This is something else. I don't know if I'll use all my uh, army men drawings just as of yet, but maybe in the future, because this, I think it turned out really, 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 really good. I'm happy, I'm stoked. Let's see if I can get it. So it ain't reflecting off it. I don't think it is. Yeah, that's. I'm happy. And once again, it, the brush pens. Got them from Hobby Lobby. There was a A of them. So. Yeah. What do y'all think? That was awesome. I had fun with it. And. Yeah. Thank you for watching, if you watch the whole thing. I'm going to upload this bad boy. But, I think I found me a new medium to explore and have fun with. It ain't all got to be, you know, pencil drawings. You can add some stuff to it. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night, and, and I'll probably draw some more. I'm kind of excited about this. Oh, tomorrow, anyway, because I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. All right, bye.